I'm putting my, my hand on his, my forearm on his chest. I'm sealing for the ball. Coach Bounce passes it to me. I'm going to explode to the ball. All right, I give it back to him. I have three of them. He's giving me, trying to reach over, trying to reach over the top, touch that ball. Here, here, I explode to the ball, and I pivot. I do it again. Come on, touch the ball. If, you're, if your partner touches the ball, you have 10 push-ups. Again, again. Making me, making me work. All right. Ball's live. Ball's live. All right. Rips through. I pass it back. I come back. Ball. Because now, listen. Raise your hand if you've had trouble getting up the ball before. One day you're going to face the best defender in the state, the best defender in the league, the best defender in your city, the best defender in your gym, whatever gym that is you go to. You have to know what tactics to use. I don't care how active he is. I don't care what he's doing. I stick my form right here, hand out, keep the ball away, pivot, good, pass the ball back. Each person has three times, then we'll switch over. So offense will go, then both of you guys get off until your next rotation, then you guys switch. You guys got that? We'll do that for about one to two minutes. Let's go. Let's go. You go behind the back and you show control. Let's go. Not talking on D. Can somebody talk on D? Let's go. I need some encouragement. Let's go. If he does cut you off, you go three times. If you go right by him, you're only going to go one more time. Ball. And that's it. Good job. Ready, let's go, let's get it. Once he cuts you off, you have three dribbles either direction to get by him. So now it's going to be hard for him to predict. He's not going to just be able to stop and it's over. You're going to hear here, he's off balance. Now you can make another move and go, and you have up to three dribbles to try to get by. He might cut you off again. So say, let's go. If he cuts me off, and then I go here and I shake him a little bit, and he recovers, I have to go here again under protection. All right? Let's go live one time. Like that. All right. So after the cutoff, we're three to four dribbles and we're done. Let's go. Let's work. Let's go, defense. Let's go. Hustle up. Hustle up. Hustle up. Get the ball down here. Let's go. Just a half. This drill is just really big when it comes to being a point guard. You know, I feel like every point guard needs this type of work because no matter how athletic you are, it's all about concepts. You just need to know how to get the ball at the court, angles, when to show control, changing speed. You might have a defender that's really, really energetic. You have to know how to slow motion it. Sometimes Derek Fisher gets the ball at the court on the best guards in the league. It's not the quickest, but then again, Kyrie Irving is one of the quickest guards as well, but he knows this stuff, so all point guards need this type of work. And this is what we call the high elbow. So we're going to put that chair at the high elbow, and we're working on getting the ball up the court left hand. So if you guys can make a little lane for me. OK, so I'm coming up the court. All right, and I'm not going all the way, so all the way to the side. I'm kind of right here. My defender isn't really hounding me. He's about three feet off, about three feet off of me. He's not leading me left, though. He's running me straight up. He doesn't even know what's going on. He does not see that screen right there. OK, so actually, let's move that chair, and let me get a screener. The chair will turn into a screener. Again, just giving you concept. So he's here, and he doesn't step up just one step screener. Screener, not defender. Yep. So he chooses now. He does not know it's there. I get the upper hand. I go. He's trying to go across, go over the top of the screen. I'm going to cut him off a little bit, explode to my spot, and I'm going to shoot. All right, we'll go again. The only thing about this drill you have to earn the space of your defender. If you don't, you're not going to be able to come off of it. So I have to get some type of move that's going to create maybe a foot, maybe only six inches. So he's guarding me. I'm here. Boom, I'm here. 
You get what I'm saying? You have to create some type of separation to explode off of, that, off of this uh, screen. One more time. So look, this is where you fail. If you just try to come across, playing D, no, play real defense. This isn't going to work. You're going to be locked up trying to get across. That's not going to work. You have to show him, I still have an option. If I blow by left, you got 50 push-ups. You guys understand? Yeah. I kind of like, I sat here and I gave him the impression that I can still go left. And then boom, I explode this way. So now he knows that that's covered. He tries to come across. I close that gap. I explode out. Now I have a jumper, a layup, or a drop off, or a behind the back pass to a great shooter right here. Coaches, can we get that uh, chair on the high left elbow? High left elbow. Let's go, I'll trail you. No, you have to make him trail. So boom, you do your move, he acknowledges the spot, you explode, and now you got a head start on him so he's kind of already trailing. You can't stop right here. No, you come across, he goes over the screen. Now he goes over the screen, then you cut him off. Then you explode to your next spot. I see a lot of you guys stopping before you even come off the screen. Again, I want you coming off the screen so coach is here. He knows I can go left. Knowledge a little bit. Boom, I make a quick move. He's trailing. I get in front of the screen, off it. Now I'm here. And I shoot. And as I'm coming off, I see what's around me. Kick outs, I see everything. Let's go. Let's go. Let's work. Let's work. Oh, don't get ripped. Okay. Okay. Put that left hand into the contact. Put that left hand into the contact. Oh. Left hand. Yeah, yeah. There you go. Put that left hand to the contact. Hey, oh. Nice, good. Good. Get there, get there. Get there. Oh, nice, good. Left hand, left hand, oh yeah. Still see me though, still see me. Good. I want you to still see the person behind you because it's gonna dictate if you should a jumper or a layup. Or if you're gonna burst by him, pass to the corner wide open three. On the left uh, rib, last time you guys snaked and it went this way. You bumped him there, went this way. Now I'm going to have you cross over and shoot your jumper. If I blow by you left, you have 100 push-ups. I'm here. I'm coming off. That's what I want right there. All right? Again, one more time. If I blow by you left, you got 100 push-ups. Oh, okay, good job, good job, one more time. One more time, one more time. If I blow by you left, you have 100 push-ups. Good D, good D. All right, all right, let's go. Uh, that's the concept.